97.7 Dundalk FM Town Talk Now I'm joined by two artists well a singer songwriter I think and an artist and uh, Sean Oridon did I get that right Sean? And uh, mics need to go up whoops Sean Oridon and Catherine McCourt you're both very welcome to the show Thank you for having us Pat And Sean uh, did I get your name right? Oridon 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 there you go. I haven't, haven't come across that name before, so uh, uh, apologies. Now, you're both coming from organisations with lots of initials, so I'll ask <laughs> each of you in turn to explain uh, who you're coming from. Catherine, you're from the AAEX, uh, Art as Exchange, is that? That's uh, right, yeah? Art as Exchange, and it's it involves about 40 active members at the minute, and we all come from different disciplines, and uh, we're, we consist of emerging artists, established artists, hobbyists, you people that just have an interest and a love for visual artists, art. And we come together um, to support each other because it can be a very isolating uh-huh. um, endeavour and uh, to uh, skill swap and uh, to um, just to inspire uh, each other, yeah, inspire each other and take part in projects like this. It sounds like a great venture and a great idea to have uh, that uh, network of people, yeah. that, you know, like minded people. And Sean, something similar for yourself, because you're from the M.P.O.S.O.G.S. So what's what can, you can explain that one to me? Though. Well, it's uh, it's it's a sort of an acronym. It's Moppersogs. So it's uh, M.O. for Monaghan. P.O. for Poets, S.O. for Songwriters. And, um, and it's, see, if you just had MPG, it would have been Mars Pigallon. And <laughs> being in the EU, we're <laughs> kilometres per lease. OK, so, so the Monaghan Poets and Songwriters Group yep. or something like that. Yep. And you, so you yourself, uh, you're on the songwriting side of the, the fence. I'm a singer-songwriter. Singer-songwriter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So we have poets and we have uh, people who write prose as well. So any, any kind of written uh, form. And it's the, the clue is in the name. You're a Monaghan-based group then. We are. And yeah. Catherine, you're uh, Dundalk-based, are you? Or Loud- Mainly in Dundalk, Mainly yes. Mainly in Dundalk. Okay. So you're two sort of different counties, different organisations, different art forms. Uh, so how the hell do you meet up? Well, um... You're nodding at me, but <laughs> somebody tell me now. <laughs> well, of course, during lockdown, the only way we could communicate with each other was through Zoom. So mm-hmm. uh, We've have, all been through it. Yes, so we're all experts at Zoom now. So uh, we would meet and we, we undertook various projects as part of AAEX, like skill sharing and and making art. And we decided we so wanted... So can I interrupt you there, Catherine? Yeah. How do you do art through Zoom? Like, I mean, you have talking heads on the screen in front of you but how, how does the art come into it? Oh well what we did at the very beginning of all these lockdowns we, we actually trained our cameras onto our work benches and we just worked away and it looked like because it was all a, a series of squares a grid so to speak mm. it looked like a, a living patchwork nearly you know I could wow. see So it's a, it almost a living art Yes yeah, yeah. So, so we decided to take that a step forward and um, Quiva O'Dwyer suggested that we collaborate with a writer's group mm-hmm. And so another member of ours, Julie Cochran, uh, introduced us to Dara McGowan, uh-huh. who is uh, from Mopasogs. And thus the collaboration was born. Uh, and this collaboration, is yes. this still in Zoom world? It started in Zoom world. We, the, uh, what happened was that each artist submitted a work which was randomly given to a writer in the uh-huh. other group. OK, we'll, we'll, we'll come to. back to this second. I'm just trying to yeah. get, get the concept. So you guys are over here in Dundalk. You're zooming away, looking at your art on your, on your desks or in your yeah. worktops or whatever. And uh, the idea comes up. You're going to collaborate with a crowd of writers over there in Monaghan on yeah. Zoom. Yes. So you guys in Monaghan, you get this idea put to you. I mean, what's your reaction? Well, so... Uh, Judy Corcoran would have been known to us um, through her work because there's another organisation called uh, Monaghan Arts Network and, mm-hmm. and, and they showcase um, uh, performing artists and writers. And we so it was it was almost like a similar thing, but it had happened over a number of years. So Julie would have been um, very well known. So to, you were, to were kind of OK with the idea. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the group, uh, <coughs> they've undertaken a number of different sort of projects. So they're, they're a very sort of go getting group and you know, they've done uh, 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 cross-border uh, projects um, we've done um, uh, projects in, in you know uh, CDs uh, stepping stone mm-hmm. CDs we've done, um, we did a link up in terms of the 
uh, co commemoration of the establishment of uh, Canada. We did an album because a lot of Monaghan people went to uh, Canada, emigrated to Canada. Of course, yeah. So we all wrote songs or poems or, or whatever for that. So there's a track record there of, of, of innovative uh, projects. So when, when uh, Judy spoke to Dara, Dara suggested it enter the group, and the group was, yep, we'll go for that. And there was something like five and a half hours um, Zoom meetings then. Uh, and then and people were sent stuff and then they were you know uh display uh an art piece and then the poetry or the song would be would be played and, and okay and we'll go back to you catherine because you were starting to sort of explain that to me but i just wanted to get yeah. my head around the yeah. the way you were going to initially engage okay. so you your um the the, the the idea is that um somebody from one art form presents their piece of art to somebody from another art form and that inspires them to produce something in yes. that other art form. So yes. a, a painting could inspire a song or a song could inspire a painting. Or exactly. A, a, that exactly. Type of thing. Or even uh, lots of different ways I suppose, of doing it. Yes. So in your case, you're an artist and you have something and you have it there in front yes. of you. Do you want to describe I, it? Oh, Here's right. one I started earlier. Yeah. Well, can well, I just ask I before you do that, yeah. you, 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 were, you were still doing all this by Zoom. You, yeah, you, you yeah are, so I, I saw right? that. Okay. I saw that uh, just emailed over to me. Right. So t tell us what you have there in your hand. So uh, this is um, an eco print I developed as part of an. What's artist. an eco print? Well, it's 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 a way of printing without using a printing press or um, uh, any modern plates or anything. Uh -huh. Because uh, I I was in lockdown at the time, but I was trying to produce an artist book, and this app <laughs> happens to be one page from the artist book, but. It actually what all it is, is that you you collect plants from hedgerows, weeds, whatever. You sandwich them between um, two pieces of paper. You put a bit of weight. I added um, coins in to add a bit of, um, you know, a resist, you call it, so that the ink wouldn't reach everywhere right. uh, to create the circles. And um, all you do then is boil it. Boil it. it boil it, sandwich it between two hard uh -huh. hard um pieces i i sandwich that between two uh, pieces of tile and tied it with string well the uh, end result saucepan. is beautiful i have to say yeah. um i would have never have guessed how it came about yeah. and how you created it and i'm thinking that if i'm over in monaghan now and i'm showing <laughs> this and I'm so told to write a song about that. Did, did, did you give them the story behind no, that? No, no, you just saw that. No brief, no title. Sean, Absolutely I mean, that, yeah. how do you write a song about what we're looking at? <laughs> well, I didn't say it was a good song. <laughs> 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 so um, to me, I looked at that and I looked at it for a long time. And then, uh, you know, and it was it's quite an abstract uh, yes. piece. So, 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 sort of it. so I just concentrated on the memories it generated for me. So when I look at that and I see a couple of pints of Guinness on a, on a table at the end of a night. Or no, because that's exactly <laughs> what that's Sean the bit on saw. That's on the song that you won't hear. Really? <laughs> yeah. so I hope that's not that's an insult you. now. Mm, yeah. <laughs> no, that's, no. Yeah. That, that, that was one of I was the, brought up in a pub as, as uh, you possibly know. Yeah, that's in the, the, yeah, the first half. So there was three memories that they generated. And um, uh, the first one was um, walking on uh, the beach uh, in, in China with my late wife. And uh, when we started going out, and that was 30 years ago. And then the, the second one was a session I was in in, in Ross Trevor. Right. Look, and it's like a bird's eye view looking down yeah. at the heads of pints. And that's what it that's what I thought of. But when you were doing that, that was nowhere no. near your mind. No. <laughs> Well, yes, it was in a way because I, as I was producing my artist book, I was responding to the pandemic and what I was doing it in the um, the style of William Blake and his wife, Catherine, and he had opposite sides of the same coin. He had the books of mm -hmm. um, experience and the books of innocence. So I called mine the book of hope and the book of despair <laughs> because I think okay. we fluctuated yeah. between True. the two all through the pandemic. So this was part of the book of despair and actually our, our family is involved in the hospitality trade and I was f I was focusing on the frustration that the hospitality trade felt when you'd get a little glimmer of hope you'd hope that you were allowed to open and trade yeah, again yeah. and then just to have your hopes stashed yeah. so I was I used coins from behind our bar that would always right. be a talking point with customers as an to old kind yes yeah. to represent mm. our trade the hospitality trade so so it was interesting in that that the Jew uh, saw. So it is in there, in really. Yeah. yeah. So it is yeah, there. Yeah. 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 
So and it also to me it looked like um, a beach as well. You know, uh, looking down on, on a beach, looking for stars yeah, on yeah, a beach. Yeah. And then the the third memory, the the what why I first took as seaweed, which was actually plants. Yes. Uh, I, it reminded me of of uh, honeycomb or as my Wexford's uh, grandparents would refer to it as Yellow Man. Uh -huh. so, so that's yes, I remember the Yellow it's Man quite a long yeah, song. Yeah, yeah. It's quite a long song. So we've had, obviously had to cut it down in terms of the broadcast. But so, so the third memory is... I, I'm thinking this exchange on Zoom, you're looking at a, a piece of art that you've been told nothing about and told to write a song. Yeah. For both of you, you must have been anxious, you know, what's he going to come up with on my, uh, what's he going to say to me or what's it go, how's it going to feel? And for you, you, the pressure, you know, to reflect with yeah. a piece of art in a way that's going to hopefully connect with the what's the pressure there or was it excitement or was it something else it's a bit of both isn't it it's a kind yeah. of an adrenaline thing because yeah. uh, you're create in any artistic um endeavor you're creating something that has never existed something out of your imagination and you're leaving it there for posterity so that's quite a thrilling and exciting uh thing to do and um and it's a and it's a challenge and it's, it's I've, I'd never responded to uh, an art piece like that mm -hmm. before. So, yeah, that's a bit. And, and I had and I did that to another piece as well, a um, piece by uh, uh, Una Curley, uh, which is a mushroom growing through uh, decaying uh, bits that's of timber. Right, yeah. So um, and I actually wrote an eco ecological song about that. And um, so at the end of the day, I think any artist, no matter what the medium, you just got to be true to your own artistic vision. Okay. So you can't be wrong. And we're going to come back to the song in a moment because I want to find a little bit of the song and we're going to play a little clip of it before we go, OK? But was this reciprocated in any way, Catherine? Were you asked uh, to listen to a song that Sean had her and uh, produce a piece of art? Or was that, was that did you get off the hook? I wa <laughs> I know I didn't get off the hook. I actually got a poem um, sent to me by um, Miffy Hode. Miffy Hode. Yes, yeah, Miffy yeah. Hode. And I responded visually to the to that poem. Yeah. So I haven't actually met uh, Miffy yet, so I'm looking right. forward to, to meeting her soon. And, and uh, her reaction to your, has she seen your piece yet? Yes, because we we collaborated, we had our presentations over Zoom. Right. So yeah. yes, she did see what, you know, what I produced and uh, and it was lovely because we did put the piece up, you know, on the screen sharing mode and uh, Miffy would read her poem or Sean would sing a song, you know. That's so, beautiful, uh, yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. nice. It's um, it's quite a challenge, you know, because um, you're you're not actually meeting up. You're you're not discussing. You're not. Um, I don't know. Um, I didn't know what Catherine's vision was. Oh. So you, just, it's just guesswork. So yeah. it, it's so coming back to the song, um, <clears throat> tell us the story of the song, how it, how it came about, and what it, what it says. In, and, and we're going to hear a little bit of it now, as I yeah. say, but. Uh, so, so there was three memories basically. Uh, walking on a beach in Inch Island, which is up uh, between um, Inishow and, and Fannard Head, mm -hmm. so it's Loch Swilly uh, up in Donegal. And my um, uh, with my late wife, my wife uh, died three years ago uh, from cancer, and uh, and it was just <coughs> looking at the beach and picking up stones for skimming. And uh, so that was that was one of the thoughts. And I can and see then, the the flat stone images there. Yes, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah. And then and then. <clears throat> it's almost like it was uh, the the. I think the painting is very fluid, and it's almost mm. like a dream, and it just kind of morphs into then the second image, which is basically <laughs> being three sheets in the wind, uh, <laughs> singing a song at a session with uh, friends of mine, uh, Mickey Duffy and Gary McCone and Ross Trevor, and um, and swaying as I'm looking at the heads of the uh, pints, which I'm just about to devour, and uh, <laughs> and then the third memory is is back in 1970, which is a very big year for me. Because uh, Chelsea won the FA Cup for the first time, I did my first Holy Communion. I did notice your Chelsea mask uh, yeah, when I came in. Yes, <laughs> three 0 against Villa, and uh, um, uh, the Beatles split up, and the Be we were big Beatles fans in my family, so we were heartbroken. And I uh, did my first Holy Communion, and my we didn't get money in those days because nobody had money. <laughs> <laughs> but you never got these envelopes or anything. But what I did get was a holiday uh, in Wexford with my grandparents. My mum's second generation Irish. My dad was a dairy man. And uh, so we were daring the football away from the hurling. And uh, so to my, the first trip that I remember going to Ireland, because I was born and brought up in London, was uh, that, that year. Um, uh -huh. And eating yellow man standing on the quayside with my grandparents. And, uh, and just the line in the song says, uh, so happy. Could it so be there's right? a lot woven into a short song. Absolutely. 
Yeah. Well, it's got a long song of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have the title for it. Oh, Sean. So you, you heard the song. I hope you liked it. Oh, I did indeed. Good, yeah. good. It was great. Yeah. Good. And uh, have you performed it in public at any stage? Yes, we did. Uh, for, for Culture Nights, I performed. Oh, down at St. We Helena's, was it? Helena's. Yeah, yeah. So, so I did a, a couple of the songs where I'd either responded or provided a song. And then other people read poems. And then so uh, Catherine was stood next to me with, with, with the uh, picture while I was singing the song. Yes. So it's it nice. And then people got to inspect and all the lyrics were um, or poems were next to the pieces of artwork mm -hmm. and people got to inspect them. And we're going to be doing... Um, a, uh, a performance and an exhibition in the Inter Center on December the 9th. Over in Castle so, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So all the art pieces are going to be on uh, on exhibition. And, and there are going to be many pieces because there's dozens of you. 92. Oh, yeah, there's yeah. been over 90 pieces of original yeah. art or writing that ha has been has come about from this project. Yeah. Well, it's so. just fantastic. And I'm just watching the clock here. So yes. what I'm going to do now, and I'm going to have to uh, cut, cut it short, as I say, but uh, I do think it's a fantastic uh, idea to twin artists from different art disciplines and uh, come Brilliant up with idea. something new that never was created before as a result of the inspiration of the, of the other artists. Necessity is the mother of invention. The yes. mother of invention. <laughs> Too true. Sean, do you want to just introduce the song, say who it is and what it is? So the song's called uh, Gazing at an Image and um, performed by me. Uh, and I'd just like to uh, mention uh, Keith uh, Courtney, who's uh, a native of RD and uh, we play together and he's, so I'm like George Harrison and he's like George Martin. <laughs> and uh, so he's, he's right. uh, done an arrangement on this song. It's still quite a new song for us, so we're still working okay, on it. Okay, let's give it a blast. Thank you very much, Sean and Catherine. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 97.7 Dundalk FM Town Talk